If you have a lot of scraps on hand, then I have the project for you. Yo-yos are a circular fabric that's gathered in the center and can be used for all sorts of projects. I'll show you how to create a basic yo-yo and also different things you can do with them. For supplies, you'll need fabric scraps, all-purpose thread, something circular to be used as a pattern, fabric marker or chalk, hand sewing needle, and scissors. On the wrong side of the fabric, use your pattern to draw your yo-yo cutout. You can buy patterns, but anything circular will work. I'm using part of my embroidery hoop. Just realize your finished yo-yo will be half the size when finished. After drawing, cut it out. Place all-purpose thread on a hand needle, but bring the ends together and tie a knot. This is so you're stitching with two strands instead of one for extra strength. Now you want to do a running stitch around the whole perimeter of the circle, but you want to fold up about a quarter of an inch from the right side to the wrong side. Now you can pre-fold and press before you do this part, or you can just fold as you go along, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hold this, and it doesn't have to be perfect, a perfect quarter of an inch, I'm just guesstimating here. And bringing up my needle between the fabrics, just so I can hide my knot a little bit about an eighth of an, eighth of an inch away from the folded edge. Gently pull that, rotate this a little bit. So you can see I'm trying to keep that quarter of an inch best I can. When I go down with my needle, I'm going now through both layers of my fabric. And then I'm gonna come up because we're doing a running stitch. And my stitch length is about 3 eighths to a half inch. Again, I'm just guesstimating. And when I pull my thread, make sure that you pull it slowly because since you're working with two strands here, sometimes it can get a little bit more tangled. Rotate my circle. Go down through both layers and back up. Again, making my stitches about a half inch in length. Gently pull. And you'll do this around the whole perimeter of the circle. Now you want to make sure you have a long enough piece of th thread so you can get through the whole thing because you can't just tie a knot and then start over with a, another piece of thread. Otherwise it's not really going to work very easily with the gathering process that we're going to do. If you find you're getting kind of low on your thread, you can go ahead and start gently pulling to create a gather just to give yourself some more wiggle room and you can get it all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then we'll move on to the gathering. After you go all the way around, gently pull the threads to gather. Tie a knot in an inconspicuous place and cut off the excess thread. Then flatten and arrange the yo-yo so the opening is in the center. The longer your stitch length is, the smaller the opening. Here's one with quarter inch length stitches and one with half inch length stitches. You can do all kinds of craft projects with yo-yos. One common thing is to create flowers. Sew or fabric glue a button in the center or layer two yo-yos of different sizes on top of each other. With these, you can glue them on headbands, hair clips, or pins to create boutonnieres and so on. You can also sew flowers and yo-yos on garments or home decorating items for an added embellishment. Sewing a yo-yo onto fabric, I'm again going to be using hand sewing, just because it's a little bit more invisible than using the machine to do this. So I have my, my thread on my needle here, and I'm going around the perimeter of the yo-yo, but I'm working more on the edge, sort of underneath the yo-yo and closer to the edge, just so my stitches aren't gonna be visible. You can see I'm using a contrasting thread, but if I do this right, you're not gonna see my thread at all. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of the yo-yo fabric and I'm basically just gonna keep alternating between the yo-yo fabric and then my main fabric that I'm stitching it to. And I'm going from closer to the center of the yo-yo towards the outside. That way my knot is going to be hidden. I can lay this a little flatter. So grabbing a little bit of my fabric. You can see I'm going as close to the yo-yo as possible. Pull this slowly, and that's my first stitch. Grab the yo-yo fabric, and I'm going a little bit more underneath the yo-yo, doing a small stitch, about a quarter of an inch. Gently pull that, and now grab a little bit of my fabric besides the yo-yo. If you keep your stitches on the small side, it'll come out a little bit neater and probably less visible. So as I'm working, I'm just gonna be rotating this. So grab a little bit of the yo-yo fabric, 
towards the edge and then the fabric beside it. And you just do this all the way around. Yo-yos can be stacked on top of each other by running a stitch through all the centers in order to create limbs for plush dolls. Another option is to sew yo-yos together side by side. To sew yo-yos together, you're gonna place them so they're sandwiched together right side to right side, basically opening to opening. And just pop one on top of the other and then pinch one side. It doesn't matter which side it is, I'm just picking one. I'm gonna do a whip stitch about a half inch, attaching the two edges together and I have my needle and thread ready to go. I'm staying as close to the edge as possible. So I'm, you can see I'm just going right barely on the edge, making sure that I'm catching both fabrics. And then now that I'm coming out on my purple side, I'm going to just whip around and go back to the blue side and come up on the purple side. So I'm always stitching in the same direction. Do a stitch right next to that. Again, starting at the blue, coming up at the purple. Starting at the blue, coming up at the purple. So I'm always just going in the same direction. So it's different than kind of a running stitch where you're just going up and down. In this case, I'm going around the edges, trying to stay as close to the edge as possible. And again, I'm just gonna keep doing this until I've covered about a half inch. With this method, you can create table runners, doilies, unique quilt tops, or placemats. If you search online, you can see people have done all kinds of fun, creative things with yo-yos. All it takes is a little imagination and it all starts with a little circle of fabric. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.